Hello everyone, on this episode I am going to be talking about the Pacer Virtual Adventure Challenges. Now I came across Pacer when I was checking out the Conqueror Challenges. I don't really remember how I came across him. I guess I saw the uh, Conqueror Challenges and then I was like, oh, what's this company Pacer? They have some too. And it turns out that Pacer is a pedometer app for your phone. And it's actually a really good pedometer. It uh, basically counts your steps while you carry your phone around all day. So, yeah, I actually like it a lot. And it's pretty accurate, too. Basically, um, I tested it out, you know, walk two steps and counts two steps. I was like, all right. I tend to, when I'm at work, I walk a lot. So I tend to walk probably about an average of six miles a day at work. So... You know, I'm doing about, I don't know, 19,000, 20,000 steps a day. So I figure, you know, it's got to be off somewhat, but only by a couple of hundred steps. So, I mean, nothing really significant. So, yeah, it's a really good, uh, really good app for your phone and pretty accurate, too, I think. And it uh, doesn't take too much battery away from your phone. Like, I haven't really noticed anything. So, yeah, it's a really good app and I would recommend it to you if you don't have a you know, an Apple Watch or something, I would definitely download the Pacer app. But um, yeah, their uh, adventure challenges are really, really good. Um, yeah, here's some of them right here. Like London, this one actually just came out, I think, this week. This is a brand new one. In fact, it's on sale right now. That's how new it is. Um, but yeah, Pacer, I really like them because their medals are incredible, like the workmanship on these. And the designs and stuff are really, really good. Like, look at this. This is beautiful. And it captures London perfectly. And on the back, it shows you, I guess, like where you start in the city. And it just goes around. And basically, it uses like an overhead map on your phone as it tracks your progress through the pedometer, through the app. And you can also, well, you can just let it run. So basically, as you walk throughout the day, it's counting your steps and it's taking you along the uh, the challenge or you can set it to manual input if you just want to specialize your journey like if you want to only count your running I guess you could do that and just type it in at the end of the day or whatever how far you got on the treadmill or whatever or you can just let it run all day that's usually what I do like I'm at work walking around and it just counts it throughout the entire day and it takes away at your trip and uh yeah it's really really nice like um basically there's checkpoints along the way of the uh challenge like let's see uh, adventure checkpoints like you'll see big ben and you'll see tower bridge and the london eye and then when you get to these checkpoints you can uh click on the checkpoint and they'll give you like pretty much a wikipedia page worth of information about the checkpoint like what's special about big ben when was it built and all that stuff so it's very informative and it's very fun if uh you know you can't really travel right now especially because of covid i mean these challenges are perfect for that time that we are living in right now <laughs> you know you love adventure you love getting in shape and uh you love tra traveling, so yeah, this is definitely perfect for right now. And uh, like I said, the design of these medals is awesome. I mean, it's got Big Ben. I think that's Westminster Abbey. And that's Tower Bridge. And there's, I can't remember the name of that skyscraper. Oh, and uh, this skyscraper too. Those two are really cool buildings. I remember when I was in London, this is one of the few challenges that I've actually been to the city. And, uh, yeah, I remember seeing these buildings, and I think that's St. Paul's. Not sure what that is, and I'm not sure what that is. And there's the London Eye. So, yeah, really, really great designs. And, yeah, those the telephone booths. Uh, they were kind of nasty when I was in London. They were full of uh, ads for uh, prostitutes. Yeah, nice pictures, though. And uh, there's the London buses, and I... I don't know what that is. It looks like it has a crown on it, maybe. 
Oh, what the hell is that? Kind of looks like the container of ooze from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I don't know. If you have any idea, let me know in the comments. I'm kind of like, I don't know. And uh, there's the uh, Grenadier Guards. Yeah, I got to see a few of those guys there. They were really cool. So yeah, yeah, really, really awesome medals. And the craftsmanship on them is just really, really nice. And uh, they have a pretty good selection of uh, challenges. I mean, most of them are the same as the Conqueror uh challenges but uh you know if you like this metal better or if you like that this one has more distance or less distance than uh the conqueror challenge then you know you can go with pacer but yeah you know you got your checkpoints and everything uh grand canyon mount fuji this was actually the first pacer challenge i did i was kind of hesitant to try out pacer i was like yeah i like the conqueror challenge i don't need to try this other companies and actually when i saw this i was like okay i have to try this because <laughs> this metal is this perfect perfect design i mean just look at this this sums up rio de janeiro just perfectly i mean it's got cristo de redentor it's got you know, everything that's got the uh, stairs. I can't, I always forget the name of the stairs. Yeah, the Celeron stairs. Yeah, I mean, it's just beautiful. And when I got it in person, I was just so happy. I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it's just, yeah, I love this app. And these challenges and the medals. I mean, Pacer just does a really good job. And here's another one I did. I did Rome because I've been in a ancient Rome mood. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. I guess I'll do a rome challenge yeah, and it opens up it's got some latin here and there's all the some of the famous buildings you get to see and stuff i think it starts where does it start i don't remember does it start at the pantheon and then of course it ends with the Colosseum. so yeah you really go all the way through rome and to the vatican and everything i mean it really takes you around town yeah castle san angelo Alicio, yeah, and you learn a lot about the city thanks to its informative checkpoints and stuff. Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh yeah, this is another newish one. I bought this one. I haven't done it yet because I want to run this one. You know, I kind of want to cre recreate the uh, first marathon with uh, Philippides and stuff. Except this one's thirty-two miles instead of twenty-six. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try and start running pretty soon. I hate running though; it's so boring and tiresome. Ugh. Like I have a I have a really big backyard. That's about it's actually probably a little bit bigger than a football field, and I just like run back and forth. And I'm just like, this is so fucking boring. <laughs> now, if I could like, oh, hello, stop looking at the model. Um, if I could like run around like um. Conan the Barbarian, you know, just running across fields and stuff. That would be that would be pretty fun. Just that sense of freedom. Kind of like you got in uh, the Elder Scrolls games, you know, like just running from town to town. That would be uh, that would be more my liking instead of just aimlessly running back and forth. Yeah. But yeah, I'll try and start running. I guess you can do other exercises for the pacer. Like, I guess uh, if you just want to do manual input and like, let's say you do a rowing machine, I guess you could just take off however much you did on that. But I think this is more of a walking and running kind of challenge. Yeah, it's just designed better for that because the app itself is a pedometer. So, you know. Just use it for what it's good for. But with the Conqueror's Challenge, I think that's uh, a little more open-ended. Like, you can basically use any distance exercise you want to do. Um, the straps are, they look cool, but uh, I don't know. I don't really like these seams. They all kind of have that. But as far as the metals go themselves, great design, great look. And, yeah, they're just really, really nice. And, uh... Damn, 82 miles? I think that's like double what the uh, Conqueror's Challenge is. Yeah, I think the Conqueror's Challenge is only like 42 miles or so. Yeah, I wonder where the hell you start off here. I like the design on the Conqueror's Challenge medal more though, which is kind of odd because 
I think Pacer overall has better looking metals generally, but I don't know. Let's see, Bent Pyramid, Dozier's Pyramid, okay. Then I guess you work your way up to Giza. That's pretty cool. And naturally, it doesn't look like this, unfortunately. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, holographic. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, like, they have a lot of the same metals that uh, Conqueror does. Like, um, the Conqueror's challenge, this was their Hadrian Walls one. But I guess to be different, Pacer called it Coast to Coast. Yeah, it's a beautiful metal. It's just not as badass as Hadrian's Wall. But, yeah, I guess that's the uh, Loxley tree, I think they call it. That's a tree from Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Yeah, I love that movie. I definitely got to check out that tree when I go back to England one day. Oh, that would be awesome, running across Hadrian's Wall all the way coast to coast. Yeah, definitely, definitely got to do that one day. Yeah, that was a big movie, man. I was like four years old when I saw that in the theater. Is that a Tudor Rose? That's kind of what it looks like. But yeah, that's that's a beautiful metal. It's just, come on, you got to go with Hadrian, man. This is a really cool looking metal. Yeah. Wonder how they got that watery effect. Yeah, that's really cool. See, I mean, they're just really smart designs and really cool. Like, just beautiful. Like, wow. <laughs> no, I mean, look at the Taj Mahal one. Yeah, like, holy shit, this is gorgeous. And the cool thing, too, about Pacer is their medals go on... Uh, well, their medals, their challenges go on sale a lot. Like, I remember for... um valentine's day the taj mahal one was like 20 percent off because you know the taj mahal the guy built it for his favorite wife so the whole love thing so that was perfect for valentine's day so yeah that's really cool so yeah you got to keep an eye out on pacer because they go on sale a lot but i guess if uh you give them the your email they'll let you know when things are on sale so yeah, I mean, some of these challenges I just want to do because the metals are so beautiful. And I want to learn about the place and stuff, you know. Like, even this Yellowstone's beautiful. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous. Yeah, even though it kind of looks like the buffalo's farting. <laughs> farting atomic bombs. But, uh, yeah, I would kind of wish the Great Wall one was like the full-on, like, 4,000 miles. I would totally do that if it was. I mean, 186 miles, pfft. was that like 2% of the entire distance? I mean, come on. Yeah. Um, I am actually doing this one right now. Yeah, I'm about, uh, I guess about 90 miles into it. I just, uh, I went with this one because I kind of like the metal design. And uh, it's got, I think, about 29 more miles than the Conqueror's Challenge one does. So I went with this one and I'm enjoying it. It's really cool. And I'm learning a lot about northern Spain. A lot of cool beach towns and stuff up there. Like, yeah, I mean, look at this place. San Sebastian. I mean, yeah, beautiful. Like, I never knew about these places Places in uh, northern Spain. Camino de Santiago. Yeah, really, really cool. So, yeah, I really like Pacer. I mean, this is definitely kind of my go-to for walking and running. I mostly use the Conqueror's Challenge as my stationary bike and rowing machine and stuff. So this is definitely my go-to for running and walking. But yeah, I mean, I, I really like this. I love the app. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to check this out, definitely check it out. You cannot go wrong with the Pacer Challenges.